Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, as well as a sustainable source of energy, making it a potential substitute for fossil fuels. However, its industrial production from methane yields carbon dioxide as a byproduct, which must be separated and captured in energy intensive processes in order to recover hydrogen as a fuel source. In a communication in advanced energy materials, Klaus Victor Peinemann and co-workers from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology report a novel spinning method to disperse palladium nanoparticles throughout the selective layer of a polybenzimidazole PBI membrane. The setup includes a spinneret with three separate orifices, one each for solutions of PBI and palladium 2 acetate in dimethyl acetamide and the other for water, the non-solvent. When the PBI solution comes into contact with the water, fibre lumen, and the palladium acetate dimethyl acetamide solution, fibre shell side, two precipitation processes occur simultaneously. Non-solvent induced phase separation, which forms a porous support structure, and complexation induced phase separation, which forms a dense layer containing palladium ions. The air gap between the spinneret and precipitation bath controls the contact time between the metal salt and the PBI solution. A cross-section of the membrane obtained by scanning electron microscopy confirms that the structure is hollow, symmetrical and cylindrical. Transmission electron microscopy reveals that the palladium nanoparticles are distributed throughout the dense layer where the most palladium rich section occurs close to the outer surface which is composed of 21% and 24% palladium for palladium 2 acetate solutions of 50 and 100 millimolar respectively. Tests to evaluate the H2 to CO2 selectivity and H2 permeance show that the pure PBI membrane has the lowest permeance and selectivity, as expected, which both increase with temperature. At 60 degrees C, the H2 CO2 selectivity is 5.2 and the H2 permeance is 0.086 GPU. For the membrane that forms when 50 millimolar palladium 2 acetate is used, the selectivity increases to 10.1 at 60 degrees C with a dramatically enhanced H2 permeance of 80 GPU. However, the performance of the membrane declines when 100 millimolar palladium 2 acetate is used. The higher loading of palladium results in a thicker outer layer, inhibiting both the selectivity and permeance of the membrane. To find out more about this promising membrane for hydrogen purification, please visit the Advanced Energy Materials homepage.